What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay guys, so it is finally time to go ahead and battle for the last gym badge, and yes guys, we're going to be facing Giovanni, the ground type gym leader, and yes, off screen I did a lot of training for my Pokemon just to get ready for this battle right here. Remember, you do have the VS Seeker. So you can actually battle some some uh, intense trainers. All I had to do was go straight to one island and battle all them fighting type trainers a lot. But luckily we do have the uh, luckily we have the speed button right here. So that really uh, that really uh, lessened our time for uh, you know training our Pokemon right there. Now if you go right here, talk to this guy. He's like the Brilliant Gym Leader has returned. Okay, but it still doesn't say who is the Gym Leader. So let's go right ahead and figure out who this Gym Leader is. I think we know who it is. Do you guys know who it is? Now, the only man who's ever believed in us, he's right. Yo, champ in the making. Even I don't know who the Viridian Gym Leader's identity. But one thing's certain, this will be the toughest of all Gym Leaders. Also, I heard that the trainers here like ground type Pokemon. Okay, so that's one hit right there. And let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Alrighty, let's get this. Let's do it. Alrighty, first battle right here. Now, if these little traps right here doesn't give you a hint of who the, the final gym leader is, I don't know what is. I don't know what will convince you guys. So here it is, Tamer Cole would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Arbok right here. Now, a lot of these Pokemon are not really ground-type Pokemon, they're just strong Pokemon. That's, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. As you can see, Arbok, not a ground-type. It's, you know, it's effective against a ground-type. <laughs> But it's not a ground type, so let's go. Surf attack. Oh, yes. There we go. And no more Arbok. Chabak. Defeated. Alrighty. And he's gonna come out with the Tauros, but you know what? Hold on. I got I got I got just the move for this guy right here. Alrighty, bring it. Alright, let's go right ahead. Let's go with uh, this this uh, submission attack right here. And uh, look at that. It takes a good amount of this Pokemon's HP, but I still get it with recoil. And uh, well, Tauros likes to... They, they do like to use Scary Face. It is a very, very powerful Pokemon. I have to use it for my team and all that stuff. And uh, I don't know why you're using Pursuit, bro. Do not know. So, oh, crud. Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay, so we're, it's, it's a battle of attrition right here. Two strong Pokemon going at it, and Poliswag destroys Tauros. Yeah, buddy. There we go. And, uh, well, let's see. More experience points for all of us. And, uh, yeah, which whiplash. Exactly. That's all you got. Talk to this guy. Wait! I was just careless. Yeah, that that's that's what it is. Alright, so we got another guy right here. And, uh, well, I know he's going to be using some fighting type Pokemon. So, let's go straight to Godzilla Godzilla. And, uh, talk to this guy right here. Karate is the ultimate form of martial arts. Is it? Is it really? I don't know. So here we go, guys. A black belt, Kyu, wants the battle. And uh, he's coming out with his Machoke. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. Let's go with a fly attack because we can. Now, off screen, I did. Uh, whoa! Off screen, Godzilla tried to learn Dragon Rage, but I think that yeah, Dragon Rage is not all that great when it comes to, to Godzilla. I think I'll be, I'll be waiting for like another powerful move right here, and as you can see, defeated his Machoke easily. Oh yes, oh yeah. Now the game right here makes it so freaking e like they they keep the suspense right here. You cannot see who the gym leader is until like the final the final battle right here. So that that's just a funny funny situation. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. I believe this guy has like Psychic type Pokemon maybe. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, we won't be able to see who the, who the gym leader is. Alrighty. So, the Viridian Gym was closed for a long time, was it? But now our leader is back. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. Cool Trainer Samuel would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Sand Slash. Okay. Let's do this. Bring it. And yes, it did learn a rollout attack, and I don't think I could... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use rollout. Let's use rollout, because tank is a tank, and he's going to destroy everybody in his path. That, and it gets more powerful every single time. And, uh, well, here comes another slash attack. And crap. Missed. Okay, so, body slam attack, right? 
No. Yeah, I, I kind of shot myself in the foot right here. So here we go. Body slam. Let's get it. And uh, here we go again. And this guy is going to heal up his Pokemon. Oh, God, I hate you. I hate you. Okay. And, uh, well, that does it. I'm going to have to switch out my Pokemon right here. So let's go straight to uh, Poliswag again. Let's get this. Poliswag. Alrighty, taking that. Let's go with the Surf Attack. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. No more Poliswag. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, we're getting more points. And Poliswag grows to level 48. Yeah, buddy. And, uh, coming out with another Saiyan Slash. I'm just gonna destroy this guy with, uh, Poliswag right here. So, first is first. Surf Attack. Yeah, buddy. Finish him off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No more. No more. I think is gonna learn, or he's gonna grow a few levels here. Just a few more levels. So, here we go. Surf Attack. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah, right horn. Defeated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, he's gonna be coming out with the Nidorino. So, this gives us a chart to use Executumon right here. Let's get it. Come on. Executumon, use that Psychic Attack. Destroy this guy. Here we go. Psychic for the win. And uh, Nidorino has no chance. Oh, yes. Kicking butt, man. I'm kicking so much butt. Executumon doing its thing. And he's coming to come out with a Nido King. Okay. Nido King looks all destructive. But here we go with a Thrash Attack. Oh, crud. So this might be a little bit of a danger for us because it's a critical hit. So here we go. Psychic Attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. Suck on that, Nido King. Suck on that. Alrighty. Okay. And uh, Cool Trainer Samuel has been defeated. Just like that. Alrighty. Okay. So let's move on right here. As you can see, he does have about eight trainers, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Holy crud. About eight trainers. Probably a good resemblance to, uh, well, it, it's probably. Yeah, it's probably. <laughs> probably like because it's the eighth badge right here. So here we go. Battling another karate guy. He's looking all cool. Ryu coming as the as sushi. As sushi. I, I hope I got that name right. Alrighty, here we go. Psychic attack. Yeah. Get that psychic attack. And that is what you do right there, guys, when you're going up against a fighting type Pokemon. Yeah. And gonna be coming out with another Monchoke, so let's go right ahead and keep Executumon and destroy everybody with these psychic attacks. Yeah, buddy. There we go, there we go. That is how you do it. Suck on that. And Atsushi has been defeated. Hwonk! Okay, alrighty. And uh, I think we have a cool trainer right there. So let's go with Thrasher right here. Now, in a few episodes ago, I did teach I did teach it Rock Smash instead of uh, or replaced uh, what was it Brick Break with Rock Smash. But off screen, I deleted that move and gave it back. It's a uh, Brick Break. Remember, guys, you can buy Brick Break anytime over at Celadon City. Now try saying that so many times. Brick Break, Brick Break, Brick Break. Here we go. Cool trainer Yushi wants the battle coming with his Sand Slash. Okay. Alright, Saiyan Slash, time to take this Thrash Attack from Thrasher. There we go. And, uh, of course, Saiyan Slash does have its uh, defense, but it likes to throw freaking sand in our eyes. Here we go again. Come on, finish him off. Yes, sir, it does. Alrighty. Okay. And, uh, well, coming out with the Marowak, I will be switching right here because uh, we don't want to face this. We don't want to face this, especially when we got sand in our eyes. Alrighty, bring it. Bring it. Let's go with Surf Attack. There we go. There we go. Marowak has been defeated, and it looks like Poliswag is going to grow another level right here. Oh, yes. Say hello to level 49. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so you will be coming out with the Graveler. One big thing that kind of bugs me is that they don't use uh, Golem right here, especially in Leaf Green. I think in Leaf Green, you will eventually fight a Golem somewhere along the lines, but in the main game, I don't think so. And, uh, well, look at that. 
He's making quick work of everybody. Everybody! That's right, Polly Swag Show, featuring Polly Swag, destroying everybody. Polly Swag. There we go. Polly Swag's kicking some ass right now. Look at that, look at that. And he will be coming out with another Graveler, so let's go ahead and take care of this Pokemon right now with another Surf Attack. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, look at that. Holy swag, you've been kicking some butt right now. Yeah, look at that, you're close to level 50. Destroying everybody, this is good. This is very, very good. Okay, so that's two trainers down, and uh, I think it's time to take that experience share away, and I know that Executimon will need it a little bit more than uh, a little bit more than a, than a Poly Swag right here, since you know most of these Pokemon are more responsive to Poly Swag. So let's go ahead and do that. Grab some more potions. We do have uh, Max Po, or actually, you know what? We do have these potions right here, Hyper Potions, and heal up our Pokemon because they do love us and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and do it again. There we go. And uh, okay, all right. So let's see what this guy has. I kind of feel like he has another Pokemon that will not be more responsive. So let's go straight with Executimon and let's see what happens. Pokemon and I, we make a wonderful music together. What are you, a musician? You probably are a musician, probably. Okay, so here we go. Let's get it. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Here we go again. Giga Drain. That's right. And that is how you do it, guys. Okay. Alrighty. And Executimon taking everything. And, uh, well, you are in perfect harmony. Yes, we are. Okay, alrighty, so let's go ahead and battle another guy right here. Yeah, there's eight trainers in here. Eight freaking trainers. The truly talented wins with style. Probably. I don't even know. Okay, here we go. Cool Trainer Warren wants to battle. He does have five Pokemon, so they're making me work for this whole thing right here. They really are. And uh, I'm here to just take care of business right now. I'm here to make everybody pay to eat this whole freaking psychic attack and giggle don't forget giggle drains not giggle drains giga drains there we go and uh well it's coming out with the needle queen so let's just stick with the uh, executumon right here and see what happens let's see what happens right here and psychic attack for the win yeah buddy all righty let's go let's go Executumon about to hit level 49. Let's continue on this. The Executumon Holy Swag Show. Featuring these two Pokemon that will destroy you five times before you hit the ground. And there you go. Yeah, buddy. No more need arena. And here he comes out with the Marowak, so let's go right ahead and just destroy this guy one more time with Giga Drain. For the win. Oh yes. Let's go. And that is how Marowak faints. Yeah, buddy. 49. Okay, so my Pokemon are getting there. And yeah, he's coming out with another Rhyhorn, so let's continue on right here. Again, Giga Drain for the win. Yeah, no more Rhyhorn. Suck on that Rhyhorn. That's right. Okay, alrighty. So we're kicking ass right now. Lots and lots of ass. So much ass. That's so many trainers. Holy crud. Okay, so let's see. What do you have to say? The leader will scold me for losing this way. Probably. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's go ahead and switch out to Godzilla. Let's finish these girls. Let's finish these guys off. Let's see. I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. I'm doing the whole Japanese mouth thing right here. So here we go. Another battle. Battle number eight, Takashi would like to battle, and he is coming out with his mod joke. And I'm gonna go straight to Godzilla. All right, Godzilla, let's go flamethrower, or fire, fly, or something, whatever. Do it. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Fly attack does its thing. Mod choke, getting its butt kicked. 
badly. That's right, Pokemon are kicking ass right here. And he will be coming out with a mod jump, so let's go right ahead and take uh, take care of business right now. With another fly. Yeah. You won't hurt me. I will destroy you. Here we go. There we go. And that is how you do it, guys. Hell yeah. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Executumon getting points. And the Machoke's coming out again, so let's just take care of business right now with another fly attack. Yeah. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Fly attack for the win. That is how you do it. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. And, uh, well, that takes care of that. That's eight trainers, guys. Eight trainers in the gym, and, uh, we got one more to go. Holy crud. He really makes it hard for you to actually try and battle. Now, originally there was a revive here. This is pro this is the other gym too that you can actually get an item. The only gym that you can get an item. And it's not here no more. So let's go right ahead and figure out who this gym leader is. And as you can see, he's been waiting for us all along. Giovanni. Okay, so before we battle this guy right here, let's go ahead and heal some Pokemon because he does he does have some ground type Pokemon. And uh Let's see, um, you know what, uh, let's see, let's see, uh, let's go with another elixir, and give that to Executumon, I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to watch out with what I got right now, so, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and start off with Poliswag, Executumon will be on hold, and then everybody in between, yes sir, yes sir, let's get this, okay, all for the money, everything, everything for the money, let's go. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout! It shall be so until I restore Team Rocket to its former glory! But you have found me again, so be it! This time, I am not holding back! Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer! Okay. Alrighty. We're gonna get this. We's gonna get this, guys. We want all of it. We want all the smoke, right? That's right. So the final battle, here it is guys, a Giovanni, the gym leader. I love this song, I really do. Let's go, leader Giovanni, starting out with Rhyhorn. And here comes Polly Swag. Okay, going into the other screen guys, Giovanni. This is probably the fifth time, maybe fourth time, I don't even know how many times you face him, but this time it's for reals, it's for the uh, Earth Badge right here. He does have five Pokemon, all ground type Pokemon. You start off with two, uh, yeah, he, he does have two Rhyhorns right here, level 45 and at level 50. Then he start, then he goes with a Doug Trio, and then after that, Nidoqueen, who is both a poison and ground type Pokemon, and then after that, a Nidoqueen, who is also a poison ground type Pokemon. All, all these Pokemon have Earthquake. They will be using Mud Slap or any kind of moves that will try and just, you know, uh, just like reduce your accuracy and all that stuff too. Uh, Rhyhorn, Rhyhorn in particular is both a ground and rock type Pokemon, does have Lightning Rod, so if you try to hit it with an electric attack, it won't work, guys. So it's, it, it's pretty moot right here. But just be aware, these guys are very physical, hard hitting, high defense and all that stuff. As you can see on the bottom of the screen right there, there are the types that you can actually use to defeat this guy. So let's go back here and defeat Giovanni. Let's go. Right here, Surf Attack. Eat it. Time to eat it. Let's go. Oh yes. That's how you do it, guys. Rhyhorn getting his butt kicked. Polyswag getting some experience points. And he's going to be coming out with a Doug Trio, so I'm going to stick by right here. Now, Doug Trio is a very, very, very fast Pokemon. Very fast Pokemon, guys. Very, very, very fast Pokemon. So, just be aware of its speed. It does have Sandbale, or Sandbale, whatever it does, I don't know. But there it is, another Surf Attack for the win. Look at that. Time to eat that. There we go. And he's going to be coming out with a Nidoqueen, so I'm going to stick with Poliswag. Let's go. Bring it. Surf Attack. For the win! That's right, Giovanni. You got nothing. Nothing. My Pokemon will destroy you. Hell yeah. Look at that. And here he comes out with a Nido King. That's right. I'm kicking your ass, man. I'm destroying you with everything I got. Here we go. Surf Attack for the win. Polyswag sweeping the nation right here. Or just sweeping this guy. Look at that. 
Poliswag is sweeping. Oh yeah, he's sweeping, and here he comes out with his final Pokemon, Rhyhorn. I don't know how you're the strongest trainer ever, but whatever, fuck it. Surf attack for the win. Time to eat this L. There we go, and yeah, buddy. That is how you do it. <laughs> Alrighty, so there you go, guys. We defeated the final gym leader, Giovanni. He's like, ha, that was truly an intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I would like to thank everybody. Baby Arceus, my mama, Polyswag, my niece, and no one else. Draven got everything, yes, I got it, I got it. Okay, the Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It e it is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for you, your Pokemon League challenge. And there it is, guys. The TM26, which is Earthquake, contains Earthquake. It is a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran this gym here far too long ago. <sighs> Damn. We did some stuff right there. We really did some stuff. That is some stuff right there. All right, let's talk to this guy again. Having lost in this fashion, I can't face my followers. I have betrayed their trust. As of today, Team Rocket is vanished forever. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to training again. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. And next thing you know, he just he just disappears. Out of nowhere. Just disappears. Yeah. Does this look good, guys? Does this look good? Gym Leader Draven, right here. Yeah, buddy. That's right. That's right. Gym Leader Draven, taking care of business. Eight badges in all, guys, and now it is finally time to go to the Pokemon League. Talk to this guy. Blow me away! Giovanni was the gym leader here? Hmm. Yes, sir, he was. Now, just when you think it's the final battle, I'm going to take care of something else right here, guys. Something uh, that, you know, has been catching my eye for quite some time right now. And that is the battle against Gary. So after you defeat the, uh, the Viridian City gym leader, you're going to go straight right here. You can go straight to the Pokemon League. And, uh, hold on just a sec. I really don't want to get attacked by any Pokemon right here, so. Let's see, where's my repel? There it is. There you are. Okay. Now you can actually challenge this guy. Look at this. What? Draven? What a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Draven, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on. Alrighty. So here it is, guys, another battle against Gary, and uh, yeah, his Pokemon are souped up, six of them, and he's got himself a Pidgeot. Alrighty, time to eat this thunder right here, and of course he's going to hit us with a quick attack, you asshole Pokemon you, so eat this thunder. That's right, eat it. And uh, there you go, Pidgeot, suck on that. That's right, Pidgeot and Aaliyah have had a rivalry since day one. And here he comes out with the Rhyhorn, so I'm gonna go with the man, the myth, and the legend, Polyswag. Let's get it. Alrighty. You want a piece of this? Let's go. Eat this Surf Attack. There we go. Surf Attack. Finish him off. For the win. And that's how you do it, guys. Rhyhorn, he's getting his butt kicked. Polyswag grows to level 50, which is always good. Look at that. Level 50. He's coming out with an Alakazam. So let's go with our hard hitting tank. Let's see what Alakazam can do. That's usually his trump card right there. It really is. Alrighty, so let's go Body Slam. Of course, Alakazam likes to use Calm Mind, so make sure not to try and get it uh, to use uh, Calm Mind a few times because still, it's a very powerful Pokemon. Special attack, by the way. And uh, look at that Alakazam. That's right, take that Body Slam. Shinsuke Nakamura will do that to you. Oh, yes. And uh, he's coming out with the Growlithe, so let's go with Thrasher. Thrasher right here. Let's finish him off. Okay. Time to get this. He will eventually evolve this Pokemon, and it will be strong. Very, very strong. So let's go Rock Slide right here. Yeah, buddy. That's right. Rock Slide. Take that. Suck it. That's right. That's right. 
I like overcoming my opponents. And he's gonna come out with one more Pokemon, so I'm gonna go with Executumon right here, who is also at level 50, which is pretty good. Very, very good. And, uh, oh wait, he has two Pokemon, never mind. Alright, Executumon, you got this. Giga Drain. And, uh, of course, Homeboy right here likes to... Yeah, Homeboy likes to use his, uh, Rain Dance right now. Which is all fine and dandy. But I got a counter. I do have a counter right here. Alrighty. Alrighty. So let's go right ahead and use that Sunny Day right here. And, yeah, that Bite Attack uh, is gonna take a nice chunk out of us, but it's okay. Here we go. Sunny Day counters that Rain Dance. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go with uh, the Giga Drain. There we go. That's how you do it. Blastoise defeated. That is how you counter everything. Yeah, buddy. That's how you do it. Executumon kicking butt. And here he comes out with his own Executor. Or Execu whatever. Execute. So here we go. Let's move on to Godzilla, Godzilla, and let's fist this off. Finish this off right here. Execute. Thinking that, you know, that whole thing is going to benefit it. But it won't. Alrighty, flamethrower. Let's get it. Flamethrower. For the win. Alrighty. There we go. And that is how you do it, guys. Gary has been defeated. Suck on that, Gary. I made you feel the wrath of Draven right here. That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Draven, you need more practice. Um, hello. I just kicked your ass. I really did. I just kicked your ass and you're just saying that I need more practice? What the hell, man? This guy's drunk. But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell ya. Flipping you off, Gary. I'm flipping you off. And so, that is pretty much it right there, guys. So the next place we're going to be going to is the Pokemon League. And, uh, well, I'm going to be doing this first. I'm actually going to just go straight into the Pokemon League and get in front of the Victory Road so we can take care of business. So, here we go. Going in right here. And, of course, they're going to be standing right in front of you, seeing it, asking you if you do have any kind of a Boulder Badge or anything. So, there it is. And here it is. Mm, mm, mm. Actually, I really do like, or I actually love the uh, the original version of the of the Pokemon League uh, theme song right here. I really do. I love it. I, I, I like to go to the steps and everything. It's fucking hilarious. It is. So here we go. Do you have a Thunder Badge? Yes, I do. I have a Thunder Badge. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm following all the steps right here, and Homeboy here is like, you can pass here only if you have a Rainbow Badge. And yes, I do. I do have it. Okay. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm gonna use a Repel too, because there are Pokemon that you can actually find right here, guys. And, uh, well, homie here is gonna say Soul Badge. Yes, we do have a Soul Badge. We got the Soul Badge, alrighty. And, uh, let's move on right here. You can pass here with a Marsh Badge. I remember that. Okay, Marsh Badge is always great. And here we are, Land Ho. What up, people? And, uh, let's see. There are some Pokemon right here that you can actually train against, guys, but I, you know. Yeah. As you can see, he needs a Volcano Badge, and yes, we got a Volcano Badge. Yeah. Some of the Pokemon here are, are strong, but I wouldn't recommend training against these guys. Mainly because, yeah, like, you know, you only get a certain amount with, uh... A certain amount with, whatchamacallit, with uh, Wild Pokemon. Pokemon with trainers, that's where it's at right there. And here we have, you can only pass here with an Earth Badge. And yes, we got the Earth Badge. Just a few minutes ago. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to stay put right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going through all of Victory Road, defeating everybody and all that crud. And, uh, yeah. We're going to make our way to the Pokemon League, guys. We're almost done with uh, the first part of this adventure right here. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.